Well, want to borrow a drone for the weekend? <laughs> that sounds like fun. Well, believe it or not, you can check one out at some local libraries. Oh, that's great. CBS 2's <laughs> Joe Kwan has more on the campaign to let people know what else they can check out besides books. Sure, you can check out books and DVDs here at Placentia Library, but now you can also check out one of these. Yes, we've gone beyond that. <laughs> Library director Jeanette Contreras says there are about 40 items you can borrow for two weeks at a time. The inventory was decided through a social media survey and paid for with the library's general fund. We're happy to give to the community what they need. Planning to bake a cake? Yeah, there's something to help. We do ask that you come back and return it clean. If you leave some batter behind, there's a cleaning fee. Want to learn to play the guitar or maybe the violin? They've got those too. Responding to our community's needs and their needs are are beyond what we typically think of libraries, which is books. Some are still here for the books. We have a German Shepherd, so we're picking out a book on German Shepherds and training. But Palmer Clark says it's nice that the library is doing something to attract people in. Such as also offering gadgets, including this Barbie hoverboard. Uh, technical difficulty? The items come in its original box container, so mm -hmm. all the instructions are there for you. There's no cost to borrow, and just like the books here, no overdue fees, but there are replacement costs. All you need is a library card, and if you're throwing a party, they have you covered as well. They got a popcorn machine, a snow cone maker. Now, if you happen to damage or lose the two combined, you're looking at $800. Some other libraries have similar programs. But um, the collection size is not like ours. I bet they don't have a leaf blower. No. <laughs> or this, but you're going to have to get in line. You'll be the first in line for that popcorn maker? Probably. <laughs> in Placentia, Joe Kwan, CBS2 News.